Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel, Convos and Moments with Chanel. So today we are going to be doing um, some challenge cast stuffings and we're going to be doing it to my love binder, my challenges binder, and also my challenge overflow binder. So as always, we want to see what we're working with, then we'll get my budget binder and make sure you check out my website www.keepcalmhirechanel. Click on the Keep Calm with Simplicity link and check out my templates for budgets, debt, and also I have a whole budget binder kit. So check that out. But let's see what we're working with. We got 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. Plus we have a roll of quarters. So we got 85. Yep, I'm trying to do good with that change challenge, y'all. Because I told y'all I usually transfer my cash or either I withdraw my cash. And most times I do not get change change coins. So I have to go to the bank and I've been getting it in denominations of $10. But when I do my cash stuffing, my squeaky chair, when I do my cash stuffing, um, the roller quarters is 10 but the actual numbers on the chart might equal like 938 or something. So we will actually be overstuffing so i'm just going to do it that way because i can't get the change down to the very penny because i'm only getting ten dollar rolls just to make it easier for myself so let's go into my handy dandy budget binder and in this budget binder when you get the kit it has inserts and pockets where you can put other things it has room for your templates everything so Check that out. Look at my um website and see what that's given. But for today's purposes, we're just going to be taking out the challenges and the documents that we need for today. Okay, got that. And then I'll be looking at my contribution breakdown on the side too. So basically, let's start with the change challenge so we could get these coins out the way. So we're going to be putting $10 into that and we're going to use our chart, which is right here. And I basically circled and I think it came up to like $9 and some change, but I'm only going to be filling in $1.29 all the way down to $1.35. It's less than $10. So technically we're overstuffing, but it'll just make it easier for me. So let me color that in. I'm so sloppy with my coloring. And then it looked like the doggone highlighter want to start fading, but it did what it was supposed to do. Now we're just going to put the coins inside my coin. Ooh, starting to get a little weighted. Okay. Not bad. So I'm not going to make some giant noise because I have a fur baby and he will flip out. So I'm just going to place all the quarters in there. Uh, nice and quiet. And it's getting heavy. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. All right. So next, I'm going to look at my contribution sheet and see how much we were actually putting to the $1,000 challenge. And that would be in what binder? It's not going to be in that one. It's going to be in my challenges binder. So let's go to that. And this is a challenge that I'm working, but I'm doing it at my pace. And also my Roth is empty. I went and did my deposit. But you know what? It's, it's okay. At least it was a deposit. No emergency came up where I couldn't keep it. So $1,000 challenge. And I basically pre-marked which one we would be doing today. And I was going to be stuffing... $12, circled it right here. Look at my crayon, y'all. It broke in half. I ain't throwing it out. We just gonna color at a weird angle. So all that matters, it got filled in. 12. Let me try to put it a little darker, actually. So we're putting in 12. So we're making slow progress. All the pink is what's in the envelope. It is what it is. 
So we're going to take 10, 10, 11, 12, and we're going to put that in an envelope. And if you're new to my channel, I do not count every single time that I stuff an envelope. I really like to stuff when I finish that envelope's goal. That's just me. So when I finally get up to that 1,000 or when I'm really just trying to see how much progress I'm making because I can't tell or I don't have my calculator at the desk, I will do a count. But until then, I just stuff it. So that's the $12 that went to that challenge. Put that to the side. Now we're going to go to my love binder. And we're going to stuff my, let's see what month this is. We're going to be stuffing the August challenge. It's actually June 1st, so we are ahead in this binder. And each part of the stack is $1. So how much was I stuffing to this category? I was actually going to be stuffing 18. So let's get that together first. Okay. So we got 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. And that might actually complete this challenge. Let me see. I have like no organization when I'm actually coloring these things. So please forgive me. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. So I actually will be completing this challenge. And the crazy thing is I did not bring over the crayons that would specifically match to keep up with the color formation that's already going with this. But um, like I always tell y'all, I'm not an artist. My profession is I am a virtual assistant and I am a notary signing agent. And then my third company is my organization binders. So I'm not an artist and I am not a drawer. But this is calming and it is relaxing and it does bring back nostalgia. So instead of this green I'm going to have to color the last book pink. It is what it is. Y'all probably be like, dang, she's so quick with it. She do not be caring what she color. And you know what? I'll never mind a blue apple. Blue is my favorite color. So no complaints with that one. I'm trying to just go fast because I use some of the edits in my videos, but for the most part, I keep my editing very simple, so I'm not doing the speed up. So let's put that $18 into there. And actually, since the challenge is finished, we will actually be doing a grand count. And I'll just put the amount on here. So let's see. Let's use blue. I like this pen. It's so cute. I was using it the wrong. I kept on struggling and trying to get these buttons back down. But duh, you press this and then it pops the color back up. So... Sometimes you just got to learn how to use things and take your time. But let's see what the grand count is. We got 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we got a grand total of 20. And it looks like 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 4 times 5 is 20. Perfect. I got to bring a calculator to the table sometimes. Math. Do not be mathing. So we got 20, and as you may know, or if you don't know, usually when I finish a challenge, I basically re <laughs> replace a challenge because we're not trying to stop these challenges over here. We're trying to find fun ways to basically save money. So this one is now complete. I'm going to put that to the side, and it looks like this is actually going to be going towards my goal of my insurance deductible for my car. I believe that's $500. So God forbid I get in an accident and I have to pay on my end. I want to have my $500 already ready. I'm just trying to prepare for everything. This economy is so crazy. It's like you just want to roll with the punches. Now, because I took that one, I'm basically going to be replacing it with another challenge. And the challenge I will be putting in to replace that one since we finished it is this 4th of July one. So this is going to be towards my second round of challenges for this binder. And I already labeled it. 
And the reason why I have to do it this way is because I actually ran out of these doggone clear envelopes. So I say, you know what? Let's just store the name of the challenge in here on a piece of paper. And then we'll just store the challenges inside my budget binder. So by the time we get up to this challenge, it'll say 4th of July. And I know I'll be working on this challenge. So that's the replacement for that one. And I will basically be showing what I did with that money in another video. Because that's going to be me applying the money to something else. And I also will be finishing my challenge in this challenge overflow binder and that will be may and that's excellent because it's actually june 1st i had company over my house so i didn't get to um cash stuff and also i went to a school to talk to some students so i did not have time but i actually had the money before june 1st but it's okay and we're going to be stuffing the last 45 dollars. so we got 20 40 45 put that to the side let's just double check each icon is worth $5 for this May challenge. So that's going to be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And let's see where this was going. This was actually going to be going to my two categories. One being $49 to my notary background and also $101 to my low bill. So you might ask what exactly is a low bill envelope and that's basically bills that are a hundred dollars and below i consider those low bills bills that are a hundred dollars and up i consider those a high bill so basically i know when a lot of people do their month of head they um just do the different amounts of each of their bills and they tally it and whoop, shake it so the way that I found it easier to be for me is I basically looked at all my bills or the bills that was $100 and below. I put them in my low bill category or my bill, bills that was $100 and above. I put them in my high bill. So I'm actually saving for my month ahead by putting into two categories. Now, this one I will also count because... It is complete. So again, like I expressed, I like to count my envelopes when I actually complete the challenge. So let's see if each icon is worth five a piece and we got 30 icons, we should have $150. So let me line up the bills and I'm going to be taking this money to the bank and switching it all to prop money. So let's count this. This should be $150. And then I'll show you what I'm doing with this money in my next video. But let's double count. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 150. So that is two challenges finished. Tell you them small steps be adding up. Got $20 here going to another category and $150 to another category. I can't complain. As always, everybody, happy budgeting.